Jackie Zook's business is to get her clients on scene where it matters. She has hundreds of thousands of social media connections. Jackie has worked on MTV, Broadway, and Bloomingdale's. Her podcast reaches more than 430,000 listeners. Hi, Jackie. I'm really happy to see you because when we read your biography, we were really impressed and we were thinking, oh, yeah, we definitely want you in our new episode. What's up? Thank you very much for coming. Of course. Thank you so much for having me, Tatiana. This is exciting. You are a social media expert who help other business owners to increase their visibility. But we know so many people are actually scared to show up and they say, okay, like oh, I'm a social media manager, will do everything for me. So how do you usually help business owners to go on the stage and stop being shy? Do you have your approach or? Yes, for yeah. sure. No, thank you. Because I feel like a lot of people come to me exactly with that question for sure. Right. So I usually start with like a photo shoot. So I direct, I help people build their confidence when they like have their makeup done, they're dressed nicely, you know, like they just feel confident. It starts with confidence, right? So we basically produce a shoot that we use in their marketing. So we figure out like what their calls to action are going to be, what do they want to educate their audience on? Um, and then we basically promote it to their audience. So we start with the photo shoot. And then from there, we take that campaign and put it online. How do you build this confidence? What do you say? How do you encourage people? So I, okay, this is, it's different for everyone, right? I think the, the truth is, is I think people come to a point when they're a business owner in social media that they're tired. They have a tired audience. Nobody's responding to their posts. I think people are just sick of not seeing results. They're like angry about it. They're frustrated. They think they're doing all the right things. And the problem is if you're not showing up confidently and in your images, like people are going to go to the next thing. Right. So I always say like, if you are not ready for it, it's not the right time. If you are ready for it, you you're going to know you're ready for it because you know, you need to be in your content. You need to like be ready to step out of your comfort. And I think that that's, that's always like a fine line with people, but like, if you're ready for results, you're ready for it. Like if you're not, you're just not, and it's okay. But like, that's usually what I tell people that makes the huge difference. Oh yeah, definitely. And you know, in so many social media channels, some businesses actually need to attract other business owners. And I was told that business owners are the most difficult audience to be approached to. I don't know whether it's true. What's your attitude towards that? It's a personality thing at the end of the day. Like, I think if people see what other people are doing in their industry, that they're doing well on social media, it really inspires them to step out of their comfort, right? Like a prime example, like I've worked with a lot of real estate agents throughout the country. And basically what happens is, is they... A lot of them start with stock photos, which is totally normal because that's what they know. And a lot of the agencies provide the content for them. But as soon as they see other people in their content showing up, getting a lot of engagement, getting leads, they're like, how can I become that person, right? So as a business owner, no matter what industry you're in, if you see somebody doing something that you want to do, that encourages them more to take that next step, right? So it's more about like, well, do you see what your competitors are doing out there and like how they're bringing in new income? Like that's always how I approach it because I'm like, if they're doing it, so can you. How do you build the right strategy? What is your Maybe what are the questions which you ask, which are important to remember? For sure. I think what happens is like a lot of people, social media is about being social, right? Like, so if you're not going to share anything about you personally, people aren't going to relate to it, right? So if you're only going to share about your business, I'm not really going to pay attention because you're, you're just selling me something all the time, right? Like, let me into your life. Like, are you a parent? Do you like cooking? You know, like, do you have a favorite car? Do you have a coffee you drink every day? Like let people in that way. Um, because people will relate to things you have in common, not just from a business perspective. So that's the first thing that I say, right? Like open up about your personal life only when it feels aligned too, because if it's not similar to what I said earlier, you're not going to get people to relate to you. It has to feel authentic. Um, that's the first thing. And what if we talk about a company blog? So if it's not a personal or even expert blog, 
So that's where like you introduce your team members and you share fun things about your team members, right? So it's like, you always want to educate your audience on what you do as a business, right? No matter what, what that is, you always want to give free advice because if you give free advice and people try it and they see that it works, they're going to come back and follow your content, right? So that's the first thing that I always say. And then the second thing is, is like, once you give them the free advice and it works, how can you offer them a service? and then follow them and get in touch with them, right? So you always need a call to action in your content, but you want it to be separate from your education. So you're not giving everything in one sitting, right? I would say you need digestible content because people throw everything at one time and nobody relates to anything you're saying. So I would say educate one post and then do a call to action separately. And then my third sweet sauce is like person, personal stuff. So like share me about your favorite coffee, like fun things about your team members, like let me into your life because there's so many people that do social media, that do PR, that are in tech, that no matter what industry you're in, like like I'm going to relate to you personally. And that's, what's going to connect me to want to work with you and your company. How do you create content strategies for different platforms for your clients? Do you copy paste or you try to adjust and for every social media channel, you create completely different content? Yeah, no, it's a really good question. So I get asked this a lot and I'm all about repurposing content because I think, so I basically like copy and paste, yes, to all platforms. And the reason I do that is because there are different people on every single platform that follow you. And if they unfollow you on one, they're following you on something else. And if they unfollow you in general, you don't want them, right? Like yeah. that's <laughs> the honest truth. Like I feel like social media is so overwhelming. There's so many new apps that are coming out all the time. And like, you got to simplify, but as long as you're everywhere, like that's the most important thing because it takes one person to find you one place. And like, that's all that you need. Right. So that's so, my advice. Let's let's be lazy and just copy paste because there are different yeah. people. Indeed. Right, but, but even but here's the thing: like it, even that is hard for people. I'm serious. Like people are like, I'm not showing up on LinkedIn. Like I don't have time. Like, but you posted it on Facebook. Like literally, just copy and paste it and add it to LinkedIn. Like, why make more work for yourself? You know. Thank you very much, Jackie, for sharing all the valuable insights. We are very grateful for being with us. Thank you. Likewise. Tatiana, great questions. Great questions. <laughs>